guys thanks for stopping by smoking steve's today i don't know what you all got going on today but uh we're getting ready for game day around here uh we're going to be fixing up some uh, chicken wings and it's perfect for game day or just any old day uh, there's a lot of different ways to uh, fix chicken wings and uh, a lot of recipes out there but we're going to keep it simple today and they're going to be game day good so uh, let me get this uh, going, and uh, we're going to show you how we're going to get these all prepped up. Okay, we got our uh, uh, chicken wings laid out here on a tray, and we got paper towel underneath here to absorb some of that uh, water. I just did rinse them off, and uh, uh, this is about four pounds of chicken wings, and uh, we're going to go ahead and pat them dry a little bit here with the, another paper towel. We want to try to get uh, a lot of that water off there that uh, we rinsed them off with and uh, then I'm gonna get some uh, extra virgin olive oil and uh, spray these guys down and we'll be seasoning them up with some uh, dizzy pig okay guys I got a bottle of extra virgin olive oil here uh, I love this spray bottle guys here I'll have a link uh, in the description underneath the video uh, where you can check one of these out and pick it up if you want and uh, we're just going to spray these guys down. Just like so. Then we're going to follow that up with some uh, Dizzy Pig SPG Herb. So uh, we're going to spray, sprinkle a, a liberal amount on these wings here. Get a nice little coat on there. And once we get these all coated up on this side, we'll flip these over and do the other side. Okay, that's going to do it for this side. Now we're going to... Okay, I got them all flipped over and we're getting that uh, coat of the Dizzy Pig uh, SBG with herb uh, seasoning on here. And uh, once we get this all coated up, uh, we'll be putting that in the fridge and let it sit in there overnight and uh, uncovered and hopefully dry some of the skin out a little bit for us. And uh, we'll get up tomorrow and fire that grill up and uh, be smoking these babies up at about uh, 225 or so for a little bit. And then uh, be cranking that temperature up and uh, be putting a, a glaze on there. So uh, you want to hang around, make sure uh, you see that, see what we're doing uh, put to, to put that glaze on there and what we're using. So I'm going to go ahead and get these in the fridge and uh, let them set in there overnight and hopefully dry that skin out a little bit. Okay guys, it's game day. Hope you got your game face on. We may have moved to Florida, but I'm still a Colts fan. Uh, I like Tampa Bay too, and uh, Tampa Bay and the Colts are gonna be battling it out today, and uh, we'll just have to wait and see how it goes. And yeah, I'm a Peyton Manning fan and love the Colts, and uh, you know, I uh, hope you're rooting for your team as well. And uh, we're going to get these uh, wings pulled out of the fridge, take a look at them. And we're going to be cooking on the uh, Rectech Bullseye today using Bear Mountain Gourmet Pellets. I love these Bear Mountain Pellets, guys. They, uh, they make uh, 13 flavors or so. Uh, it's hard to keep track of all of them. 
uh, but I know they got a flavor out there for you and uh, they burn hot they don't make many ash and uh, they're just a great pellet uh, I really like them so uh, let's go ahead and get these chicken wings pulled out and uh, take a look at them okay guys got these chicken wings all pulled out from the refrigerator here and uh, they've been in there overnight getting all nice and happy the skin's dried up a little bit for us uh, make that skin a little bit better it's really looking good and really smelling good so what we're going to do is go out there and get that uh, Rectech bullseye all fired up and get that baby up to temperature and get these chicken wings on okay let's go ahead and make our way out to the grill here and uh, We'll get this thing all lit up and uh, get that temperature set. Uh, right here is what we're going to be cooking on, the uh, Rectech Bullseye. This is my go-to uh, grill and smoker. Uh, over here I got the uh, Rectech Bull. But this is my go-to right here. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get this thing fired up. Hit the power on button. And the last cook was at uh, 450. I don't, I'm not sure whether you can read that or not, but we're going to lower that down. We're actually going to go ahead and put that on uh, low. Uh, temperature above that's 225, and we're going to go ahead and set it on low. And uh, low should be about 200 for us. So we're going to let that get up to temperature and uh, let those chicken wings smoke on low for a little bit and then we'll be cranking that temperature up and uh, here's a little uh, magnet I got on the side remind me what pellets I have in there sometimes it's hard to remember uh, what you got got it loaded up with but uh, here's a look at the pellets nice and clean and here's a look inside the hood cast iron grates so we're gonna let this thing get up to temperature and uh, get to cooking okay guys I got that uh, Rectech bullseye all fired up got it set on low set it at 200 uh, that way it can get a little bit of smoke uh, now you don't have to put it on use a smoker or you could use any grill you have uh, I just uh, use the Rectech Bullseye, it's kind of my go-to, uh, but uh, you can even put them in the oven at 425. Now, you won't have that smoke going for you, but uh, you can bake them in the oven at 425, and uh, they're going to turn out great for you. But uh, I like to get that layer of smoke on there, cook them at 200 for a short time, and then crank that temperature up. It's all good no matter what you do. It's all good. So uh, we're going to wait for that temperature to get up, throw those wings on, and we're going to get to cooking. I wanted to show you, uh, I went ahead and transferred uh, uh, these flats and drums from the chicken wings onto this uh, black mesh mat. Uh, that's what we're going to be cooking on today, using that mat. That way that uh, smoke and uh, everything can uh, get through that mesh mat and uh, penetrate those chicken wings. And uh, there'll be a link underneath the uh, video for one of these if you want to pick one of these up. They come in, uh, these mats come in handy for uh, uh, small pieces of stuff. Uh, it won't fall through the uh, grate on you. And it uh, just works real well. Okay, we got the grill up to uh, 200. And I got these chicken wings on. And that uh, mesh uh, mat. It makes it real easy to transfer uh, all those chicken wings onto the grill. You don't have to do them one at a time. Uh, just pick up the whole mat and move them on. So let's get this thing closed up and uh, let her smoke for a little bit. Okay, we've been uh, smoking away here for about uh, 40 minutes. Uh, between 30 and 40 minutes. And the uh, temperature of the chicken wings has uh, reached 100 degrees. So let's just go ahead and open her up and uh, take a look, see what they look like. And they're 
starting to come along, but uh, what we need to do now is crank that temperature up to try to get that uh, skin a little crispy. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, crank this temperature up. 425, right there. Okay, so that's going to get heat up to 425. And uh, right now it's at 202 and climbing. So we're going to go ahead and uh, monitor the meat temperature, which is 100 degrees right now. So we're going to go ahead and let these cook for a while and uh, keep an eye on them and uh, get that temperature up to 180 degrees. And uh, well, in the meantime, we'll be putting a glaze on there. So let's just kick back and uh, let them smoke. Okay, the internal temperature of the chicken wings is about 160 degrees. So we're going to go ahead and uh, brush on some uh, P.F. Chang teriyaki sauce. I've got that sitting right here. So we're going to go ahead and brush that on. Let that cook in a little bit, and uh, then we'll be flipping these guys over and doing the other side as well. They're looking good, guys, and they're really smelling good. So I'm going to go ahead and finish coating all these up and uh, close the lid, let them cook a little bit on this side and then I'll be flipping them over and uh, coating up the other side. Okay guys, these chicken wings are up to 180 degrees. They're looking mighty good. Look at these rascals. Looking good. So we're going to go ahead and uh, take these off the grill, take them inside, get them all dressed up. Okay guys, I've got these chicken wings pulled inside here. They're really looking good, smelling good. Wow, I can't wait to tag into these. Uh, we're gonna dress them up with some uh, sesame seeds and some uh, green onions and uh, get started. Here they are guys, really looking good. We sprinkled some uh, sesame seeds on top and cut up some green onions. Really looking good and smelling good. You know what's next? That's right, taste test. Alrighty, my favorite part. Look at this baby. Huh? Looking good. We're going in. Mmm. This is delicious. Really good. And teriyaki sauce. Really good. That dizzy pig seasoning. SBG and herb. This is a winner. Guys, the game's about ready to start. Wings are done. This is going to be a perfect day. Guys, give me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. And I hope to see you on the next one. Good stuff.